All right, so in this part, we are going to create the role controller so that we'll be able to add, update, and, and delete roles from our application. Um, again, we are going to go to um, everything kind of looks cluttered. Up. Okay, let's do it this way. So I'm going to go to the controllers package and create a new controller. So I'm going to go in Java class. So it's going to be um, role controller. I'm going to annotate with the add controller annotation. And instead of writing everything myself, I'm going to just go to copy and paste uh, from somewhere else. Uh, let's use a vehicle type. Okay, so I'm going to copy from vehicle type onto controller, onto role controller and just change vehicle type to role. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, I think we've changed from vehicle type to role and there is no error at this point. I said that I'm going to just take out this from here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let me just take a look around to make sure I've not messed up anything. So we now have our role controller perfectly done in a few minutes. So that is how, how smart programmers should be if you have existing code, copy and paste and change things and you have it. All right, so we now need a page to actually do uh, update, delete and select of roles. Um, so I'm going to go down to the template folder and create the HTML page for managing roles. So I'm going to go to resources to template and I'm going to create a new HTML file and I'm going to call it role. Is it role or roles? Role, I'm going to call it role. Again, I'm going to copy existing content of a page and use it in this place, right? So let's use the same vehicle type we use. So I'm going to copy from vehicle type. And after copying and pasting, I'm going to just be changing everything from vehicle type to role. Vehicle type role, okay, I'm pasting. Okay, so uh, let me make some room here. Okay, so let's do the changes we wanted. Uh, uh, we mentioned we wanted to. So I want to change from vehicle type to role. So I'm going to go to a this find and replace a uh, vehicle type to role. In this case, I'm going to be replacing one by one. Okay. There are two more somewhere that uh, I don't know if it has to be replaced. So this one, the vehicle type here is the navigation uh, sidebar, so you don't have to re replace that one. So we're gonna check for the next one. This is also navigation, so we don't have to replace it. So in this case, you don't do replace all. Okay, so we've converted this at this point. Now let me just show you one, th one thing. Another thing we need to do here, we need to, uh, create this JavaScript here. We need to create this JavaScript. Role.js does not exist. And we are going to do it the same way. So I'm going to go into my static folder and we have this JS folder. So I'm going to simply create a new JavaScript file. Uh, so it's going to be JavaScript is going to be called role.js. Ah, I see it already exists. Okay, so it already exists basically I created it uh, before now, so let me just open it and so that you see. Yeah, so it already exists. So basically this file is the same way I created the, the, the page I just created. So simply duplicate one existing JavaScript and change from vehicle type or something else to role and you have a JavaScript file for this. Okay, so, uh, so this is what uh, we have to create the role controller. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we create the GS file. This is where we are. Sorry, I'm not following these steps completely. And we also did this. We also did this one. Okay, this is optional. So here we say text the page and add a few roles like admin, user, and super admin. Um, I actually never wanted to test this application as I go, but I think I'll just have to do it because. Um, Let's just see if everything is working fine. So I'm going to run this application now and let's see. So if I go to my browser to HTTP, uh, I think it's running on port 8081. 
and I think the login should be Connington the genius and the password should be okay so we've logged in so the roles should be in slash roles okay okay so there's existing roles uh, in the database so that's why it's showing up here but let's just try to add one uh, let's try to say HR HR underscore admin and details is uh, manages manages the HR department and I'm going to just save so we have HR admin added for you it may just be empty so add all the three roles uh, by yourself and yeah so we have our page we can manage the roles now the JavaScript is working so let's go back to where we stopped first let me stop this application from running okay so we've tested this page and it's working so we need a user edit page what's the user edit page we need a page that displays the user details the roles assigned to the user and the roles the user does not have so that we can assign role or unassign role so i'm going to create uh so you know my my site has some ads on this because i actually need to pay my bills okay now this is how the user edit page looks like okay so it's, it's going to have this structure it's going to have user data currently assigned role with a button and assign that says on assign and you call a roles currently not assigned so the markup for this page i already created it uh, i'm not going to actually create it from the scratch but one thing i'm going to do now so i'm going to create a new html file i'm going to call it user edits okay uh user edit okay perfect so for now this file is empty uh, it will contain three sections you need to link this page so we need to link this page to the existing user page so if i run this application we already have is existing users so we want this page to actually uh, display when you click on a link in the user details page so if i come here and go to users we have oh to always keep logging in every time all right, so we have only one user here. So for now, we can edit this user, that's fine. But we, we need a, uh, a link that goes to the manage, um, that displays the edit user, edit user uh, page. So what we are going to do, is I'm going to take this code. So this, uh, this actually link to the edit user page. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, Although we don't have the controller yet, so I'm going to go to users. So this is users here, and I'm going to simply create a new column, uh, a new table column here. So it's going to be TD. Actually, uh, yeah. So inside this TD, I have to paste this, and I'll simply add one more here. So it's going to be T. H. Okay, so what do we expect to get from here? So if I refresh this application now, we are going to see this button uh, displayed here. So if I refresh this, okay, so if I reload this now, I should be able to see this button showing up here. And you see manage roles, okay, manage roles. It doesn't link to anywhere because we don't have the controller yet but if i click on it to see it displays a pop-up the reason is because the button uh, uh, um, class displays a, a pop-up so i'm going to go remove the button tag uh, the button class here instead of btm primary here i'm going to say btm default so that it doesn't uh, display a pop-up so it's going to uh, not display pop-up because btm primary responds to uh, pop-up um, it triggers JavaScript um, code to display pop-up. Okay, fine. So where are we now? Let's get back here. Uh, what happens? Okay, this is where we are. So we now need to write the controller method to load the edit page because now the, the, the edit page is not loaded. Uh, so I'm going to the role controller now. Let's go to the role controller. Um, 
I have it in security controllers and I have role controller here so I'm going to actually copy this and paste because uh, I don't need to waste any time so let's paste this paste so we just import this import import and we need the user service auto wire here at auto wired it's going to be private user service uh, user service okay so what's going to happen here is when the user goes to slash security slash user slash edit id is going to actually this is not edit employee but edit user but it doesn't matter it's going to take the id of the user from the path variable and give it to the service find the user by id add this user onto the the model and also get the user's roles and the user not roles because i told you here we need two tables to be displayed one of them is user roles and user not roles so these two tables have to be displayed so we're going to assign these two uh, lists of items to the ui from the model so you are send user not roles you send user roles and you also send the user details so the three pieces of information that's going to be displayed in the ui is going to be sent to the user edit page and then the user edit page is going to be rendered here um so uh so this is where we are so for now i'm going to run this application so that we can see uh the page displayed with the uh, list of items that we expect so if i come back here and refresh this and log in back here and uh, enter the password and now if I click on the manage roles here it should display the user edit page uh, but there's a problem page oh the user edit page we've not actually worked on it so it's still empty so there's nothing in there okay so the markup to display those three tables uh i have written the markup offline so i'm not going to write it because it requires of course it's not hard but it's simply two tables one table here one table here just like normal table and one form here a form and two tables and then you have a panel three panels one panel here one panel here one panel under so this i've written offline so i'm going to simply uh paste it all right, so the content of the user edit page, I'm going to paste it here because I copied it from my clipboard. So it's basically, as I explained to you, two tables and one form. So you should be able to uh, do this by now. Yeah, so one panel here, two columns and another panel. So let's run it and let's see what we have. Okay, so manage draws now displays the edit page. So it doesn't display an empty page. However, if I I'll assign an assign, it doesn't work. Uh, let me see. So it doesn't work because we've not written the assign and unassign uh, methods. So as I mentioned, my CPU fan is just freaking out. So I want to now quickly complete this class. So we have to uh, modify the uh, controller, the role controller, so that it is able to assign, receive the role ID, user ID from the URL parameter and uh, run the assign or unassign so i'm going to take this so i don't have any much time because my cpu fan uh, is making a whole lot of noise so i'm going to paste this right here so it's quite easy to understand try to pause and try to understand it so once we go to security role assign user id role id it's going to extract the user id and the role id and you call the role service assign user role and then after it assigns it is redirects to the same page and the same thing happens in this case. So let me copy this as well and paste it right here. Okay, so permit me to go to the user ID and just check around um, to make sure that the routes are correct. So I'm going to go to um, here and you can see you have the role that's assigned, that's assigned but it's actually security uh security slash role slash assign and the same thing goes for this one as well so it's going to be security slash role uh yeah security slash role because you can see that the the controller methods uh mapping here is slash security slash role slash assign so assign and unassign should work now 
and we should now worry about restricting our size once we've done this okay so now assign and unassign is going to work so if i go back here and log into this application one more time um and i log in okay uh, give me a second find some and log in okay so what i want to do now is uh, assign me a hr admin so i'm going to assign uh say okay so uh slash user slash edit okay i know where the problem is coming from i think we should redirect to say security it actually assigned but it did not redirect so security uh, i think we have some problem okay yeah i think this should be correct so i'm going to restart the application and let's see what we have all right so let's go to our users and go to manage roles and now you can see HR admin actually was assigned. I'm going to unassign it and say okay. And it's going to assign and get back here. You can see I'm going to assign myself admin role. So I'm going to click admin, assign, and I'm assigned. You can assign and assign as well. Okay, so let's see where we are right now. So we are now one, we now want to restrict our size to the page. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unassign myself, uh, unassign myself from the admin role. So let me just make some room here so on assign okay so i want to restrict our size to the edit page so before you can get to the edit page you should be able to have an, an admin role okay so uh so we have we have to go to the uh spring security config and we have to add this line here so i'm going to say dot and matters to uh slash security slash user slash edits so i'm going to refresh one more time so stop and run so if i try to click on manage roles now it doesn't let me in because um it simply doesn't let me in so before i finally complete this class let me just uh do uh access denied page so um we want to have an assets denied page but i think i've run out of time so uh fortunately i'm going to spill this into another class but for now everything should be working so if you want to have uh access restricted you simply use this again please remember to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any challenges also like this video and leave me a comment to know if this has been informative for you and if you want, please join the Fleet MS version 2. It's kind of more interesting and easier to do than this one and contains a whole lot of features, much more than this one. So I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.